important if you are new to my channel. My name is Kathy Bohannon. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm live every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time in the evening. Yes, 8 p.m. And then on Thursdays at 1 p.m. No, yes, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I just do a crafting show. Sometimes it involves paper crafts, but usually it's Dollar Tree stuff or whatever. Hey, Gloria. Hey, Marilyn. I'm just saying hey, hey to any new visitors and letting them know what I do. Thank you guys for coming over to my page. So I've got, oh, hey, Lisa. There's Lisa. And um, I got a little bit of happy mail, but I mean, I kind of expected this. I'll show you. I show you, we're going to go down there on my page, I mean on my desktop, boop, here we are, yay, this is my happy mail, it just came, did it come today, yes, it came today, and guess what y'all, I am registered for Stampin' Ups on stage, and I'm also getting their swag bag, so that ought to be here, oh is Carol on here too, hey Carol, if you're watching and you hadn't said, hey, hey, please let me know you're out there. Um, but I'm getting a swag bag and they've already shipped it and I'm expecting it. Let's see, today's Tuesday, probably Saturday. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, got my paper pumpkin. I will do it. I will be doing an unboxing on video. I don't know when, but I'm probably going to do it over on YouTube. If you want to watch it, be sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, okay? Um, oh, hey, Carol, you're, get, you're getting it Friday, so you got the email too. I wonder, I don't think I tried to track it today. I think I tried yesterday. Okay, so I'll look at it again and see if I can find the date. But here's my YouTube channel, Kathy Bohannon, Creatively Blessed, and you can um, go over there and see you know, if I got something live going on or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to be opening this probably on YouTube. Maybe over here. I don't know yet. Okay, um, one thing I want to show you guys, I had some pictures developed. Now, do y'all get your pictures developed? Because I have thousands on my cell phone. And here's the thing. Yes, I'll send them in to get developed, okay, to get printed. And I use free prints, and it's an app, and I'm so happy with it. I have no problem with it. Love it, okay? But then I go in, and I forget to take these pictures off of my phone, so they're still there. But here is one of my favorite pictures ever. That is Sir Winston poops a lot. He is my sweet baby Boston Terrier. We say he's a, um, oops, sorry. We say that he is the perpetual puppy because he's so dramatic, y'all. He is so dramatic. Okay, so now you've met my puppy, um, which he's really like five years old. He's not a puppy. Okay, I'm going to show y'all. Um, do y'all want to see some of the stamp sets? I've got a stack over here. Um, do y'all want to see that first? Hey, Heather, or would you rather see me make my card first? Um, whichever way, I, I'm going to wait and get two opinions that match, and then I'm going to do whatever y'all say. Um, I can either show you the, the ones I have, and like I said, it's a stack over here, but, um, or I can, I can make the card first and then show it at the end. Let me know what you want me to do. Tomorrow starts a 24-hour stamp sale. There's going to be 15% off. They're all in the annual catalog, and I have this somewhat easy reference. I mean, uh, card. Okay, Marilyn says card. I need one more, one more card. Card first. Gotcha. Okay, so I'm doing the card first, y'all. But we'll talk about this at the end. Okay. We are going to use. Where did I put? Here it is. This happens to be one of the stamp sets that are in the sale. Fifteen percent off, y'all. One day only. All right. Oh, hey, Kathleen. I'm so glad you're here tonight. I'm going to do that card first. I'm going to show y'all a variation of the card I'm about to make. This is called Tasteful Touches, and I love it for so many reasons. Um, one of the reasons, <laughs> Carol's watching two different lives. Well, I'm glad I'm one of the two. 
Um, Y'all, you can stamp this as a little background. We're going to use this stamp tonight. We're going to use this stamp and um, one of the sentiments, which is, you are so special, okay? Just because it's easy. Now, I'm going to show you not every card has to be so busy and detailed, okay? Um, we're going to start with our, our card base. This is the... Um, base the thick basic white cardstock it's it's pretty good and hearty i really like this to be the base of my cards it is cut at four and a quarter by five and a half no eight and a half <laughs> i do this every time eight and a half by five it, it's cut like this <laughs> this is four and a quarter but when you open it up it's eight and a half okay and then that is five and a half. Okay. Eight and a half by 11. That's right. Okay. So this is my card base. Whew. Thought I'd never get through that. We are using Smoky Slate as our next layer. And this right here is just a piece of um, basic white cardstock. Okay. I'm using Smoky Slate ink. Now, my purpose tonight is to show you how easy it is to just have a really pretty card. Okay, y'all are really going to love it, I think. Okay, so we're going to take our our background stamp, this one, and I'm going to stamp off, and then I'm going to stamp on. I'm going to stamp off and on. Just a few times here, and I'll show you what we're going to do. We're just kind of giving it a background, and... Just some interest like this. And, you know, you can connect these. As you see, these two are almost connecting, okay? You, you can do that. Hey, hey, Teresa, so glad to see you here tonight, too. So we're stamping off just to get a lighter, just a lighter color, okay? Let me put a little one over here. Okay. And that's our background, all right? So we don't even need any special DSP, designer series paper, anything like that. Okay, so now I'm going to stamp the feather, and we're going to go full strength on the feather, okay? Let's make sure you can see everything here. And y'all, this is not going to take long because the, you know, I want you to, oh my goodness, look how pretty that is. Look at that. Y'all, it looks like, like a feather out in the yard. My grandchildren love it when there's a feather out in the yard. They, they have to decide who gets to keep the feather, and then they have to kind of have disagreements over who gets to show off the feather. And then I'm like, but can we talk about who the feather belonged to? You know, like what kind of bird? Marilyn had a fox come in back. He stopped and looked, barked at you in chaos. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. Crazy. Okay, so we're going to take some black ink. Mm, not that one. Please hold. Um, we're going to take this black ink and we are going to say, you're so special. Okay, boop. So really, you could just use the gray ink again. Isn't that feather gorgeous? And it is in the 15% off tomorrow. Tasteful touches. How about it, y'all? You are so special. Okay. So it's not perfectly straight, but that's okay. We're going with it. We are, well, actually, it kind of is. I think I did. Let me see. Eh, it's just a little, just, just a wee bit off. Okay, so we're going to do that, and let me grab that gray again, and I, I put it up, and I shouldn't have put it up yet. Okay, so we are going to cut this. We are just going to go, I mean, this, y'all, this is going to be a fast card tonight. It really is. We're going to do this, and then, because I'm not doing exact measurements, and well, I'm you know, I'm wanting to show you that you don't have to buy all the things, okay? I mean, do I want you to buy all the things if that's what makes you happy? Heck yeah. 
Um, Teresa, she always has critters visiting. So true. Next will be the ba Maryland. Are you serious? Do you see bears? Like, are they brown bears, black bears? What kind? I've seen little videos of bears that get into people's cars. Now, y'all, I like, sometimes I like just about an eighth of an inch um, around my, on my background. Like, that tiny little margin there. Okay, so we're gonna, we're just gonna match it. We're just gonna put it right in here and go whack. And then we're gonna go boop. There we go, y'all. See how easy? So easy, so easy. Raccoons, oh no, raccoons. All right, so we are gonna just put this together like this, y'all. Look at this. Black bears every year. Are you ever worried they're gonna be watching you come out, come out of your house and and eat you? I mean, I mean, bears will eat you, right? Because we're like nature's tacos to them. I think. I think I saw that somewhere, so it must be true. Hey, Barbara, I'm so glad to see you. We're doing a super simple card, and I'm gonna show a stepped up version that I've already made, and. Y'all, I'll tell you what, this, this particular set, I'm so glad I got it when I did because I have really enjoyed using it. But those feathers, y'all, I can't even, I can't, I mean, they're just beautiful. Marilyn lives in Maryland. <laughs> I think. Did I make that up, Marilyn? Did I make that up? Now, y'all, I'm just putting on this glue because then I can wiggle it around a little bit. And here we go. There we go so far, y'all. Five coons and five stump. Gun is ready at all times. Well, there you go. When you shoot, if you have to shoot a bear, you better, you better make a commitment there, girlfriend. Y'all, we're just going to stick it on here. Look how easy. Look how easy. So it is Marilyn. Yeah, Marilyn lives in Marilyn, Heather. <laughs> I thought she did, but I was afraid I, I messed it up. There we go. Western Maryland. Yes. So y'all, look. Now, you could make these so quickly. That is it. I have Smoky Slate here. I've got, thank you, Lisa. I got Smoky Slate ink. Boop. Okay, and I stamped off to get this, and this was stamped full strength, which I can't get over these feathers. Thank you, Barbara, and you see how quick and easy. And then I did use black here, but you could use Smoky Slate. Um, Marilyn says she'll put him in the freezer. That's right, get you some bear meat. Okay, there we go. And on the inside, why don't we? Just because we can. Okay, let's let's just do this because we can. Um, so, so far, your investment is the stamp set, which is 15% off tomorrow. It starts at midnight um, mountain time tonight, which I don't know, whatever time that is. Um, Y'all, I'm, I'm going to stamp it right over that background, and we'll see what we see. Look at that. Okay. Get it in focus. Come on now. Focus. Focus. There we go. Boop. Okay. Um, oh, hey, Alyssa. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for stopping by. And y'all, we definitely want to make our envelope pretty. And here, here's my point, y'all. You've got Smoky Slate ink. You've got your 15% off tomorrow only. And this is where you'll shop, kathybow.stampinup.net. Please do a screenshot because I'll be moving it in a minute. Um, so, y'all, here's your envelope. I mean, doesn't that look like ugh, so nice and simple? Um, so you've got your Smoky Slate cardstock and your um, white cardstock, which mine is thick, and then regular cardstock here. But you don't have to have the thick. I just do. And then you got your stamp set and the Smoky Slate ink. And then if you want the black ink, you can do that. I love the feathers too. 
Now, I'm going to show y'all something. So this card is finished, okay? And y'all, are you ready for this card? It is so pretty. Y'all, same stamp set, okay? It is heat embossed. Now, this is definitely stepped up. Um, and I realized that I showed y'all a lot of detailed cards because this is the kind of card I love to make. But y'all, I love to make this one too because it's so simple. I could just, I could run out and do, I mean, I could just sit here and make 20 of these and not even blink. This one, you know, I'd probably make five <laughs> in the same amount of time. But this, um, I'll tell you all about it. I've got the, thank you, Alyssa. Thank you, Marilyn. Um, I've got the thick basic white cardstock here. Then I've got uh, uh, macaron, mint macaron cardstock. Let me get my bum 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 scary dental tool. Where is he? Oh, hello. Whew. I know, Barbara. I know. This cardstock here in the background is mint macaron. And this is some old designer series paper. Y'all, we have more designer series paper that would go great with this, but I chose it because of the gold. Now, this gold background here, again, out of my stash, it's just older paper. And to be honest, I, I don't even know how long I've had it, but anyway, it has gold in it. So then I stamped these in Versamark. But first, I went over this whole piece of cardstock here. Oh, thank you, Linda. I love this so much, but I went over the whole um, piece of cardstock with my embossing buddy. Um, yeah, embossing buddy. It's just a little powdery tool. We don't even sell it anymore. I don't know why, because you need it. It takes the static out of your out of your um, cardstock so that your um, thank you, Gloria, so that your embossing powder will cling to the, um, to, I'll show you what it is. It'll cling to your Versamark, which you're probably going, what is Versamark? What is she talking about? Where did I put it? Hold on. Please hold. It's got to be right here. Here it is. Whatever. I just used it. This is Versamark, and it's a clear ink that kind of puts like a watermark, or it's almost like a little sticky ink that you would you stamp your feathers and then you um, put your um, you put your embossing powder over it. Hey, Michelle Fish, I'm glad you're here tonight. Um, and you put your uh, embossing powder over it and then you use your heat gun, which is this right here, and you heat it up and it is magic and wonderful. Okay, and then I have some gold ribbon that is from, I think it's in the mini catalog right now. I should have looked. It's called Shimmer Ribbon, and that's this. It's so pretty, and I thought it was just perfect here, and then I just tied a piece, y'all. I just tied a piece right here, and then cut the little edges at an angle, because hello, because we can, right? And then I put little three, three little doodly doos right here, just three. That's it, and y'all, we have a beautiful card. Now, on the inside here, um, I wanted to show y'all what else you can do. Here it is. Come on now. Hold on. I'm trying to get it. Okay. Whew. Doggies. So see this right here, this little piece? Hey, Lindell, still live? Still alive or still live? <laughs> okay. So y'all, you can take a little piece like this and put it here. Or you can put it here, or you can, ooh, I like it there, I think. I think I want to put it right there, y'all. And then, um, and then we will put, we'll get our little envelope and see. Well, I don't know. Let's, I don't know if I'll do the envelope or not. I'm definitely not going to heat emboss it right now, because, you know, that takes a little while. And my purpose tonight is to show you easy stuff easy stuff that you don't need a whole lot of equipment and tools for. And I want y'all to remember, midnight tonight, mountain time, there we go, right there and there. Isn't that pretty? And then you just write whatever, okay? Midnight mountain time, um, 
we are going to have our 15% off sale. And <clears throat> let me grab that little bit of, I'm getting that little bit of cardstock, be, I mean, uh, designer series paper that, yeah, it has retired. It, it's retired, y'all, but hey, it's still very pretty, okay? Let's see if this is big enough. I hope so. I hope so. Nope, not big enough. Just a minute. I'll find it. Uh, but y'all, I don't have a whole lot of news this week. Um, Ninja Man was supposed to have just a routine test today. And <laughs> we went out to lunch. And, okay, first of all, y'all, I am doing so well on a, on a healthy eating plan. I've been doing for several months now. And this, this is the Gilded Autumn specialty paper that we had last fall. And, I mean, y'all, when you buy Designer Series paper, you can cut it up into little six, in, six by six squares. If it's 12 by 12, don't let that worry. You just cut it into six by six, and you'll still have it next year, maybe. Right? I mean, isn't that the, isn't that the coolest thing? So, anyway, Ninja Man... We're sitting there having lunch, and we went to this place, you know, like a meat and vegetables kind of place, right? Because I really wanted some vegetables. And um, I'm just going to say it out loud. I blew my diet today. I did. I did. But y'all, I, I feel bad. So doesn't that count? But y'all, I mean, it's the first time I have done anything wrong with my diet since August. So, you know, I was like... You know, disclaimer, this is going to not look good in the morning. But, y'all, I just, I just wanted, I just wanted to eat my, my lunch. And that, I mean, that's my only meal of the day, really. But anyway, so we're sitting there eating lunch. And Ninja Man had this particular test that he was supposed to go to. So he's like, I wonder exactly which suite it's in at the hospital and all this stuff. So he gets online. Um... 2 a.m. for y'all. <laughs> he gets online and looks and he's like, I was supposed to fast for six to eight hours. Thank you, Linda. Yes. Yeah. And that was my thoughts. I, I mean, I consciously, it wasn't the kind of eating that you just don't pay attention and you go, whoa, the whole pie has gone. <laughs> ah. Yes, Heather, exactly. And I was just it was good food, and I had vegetables, and I had baked chicken. But y'all, when I went to pick the roll up, it was like, it you hey Nyoka, um, I'm so glad you're here tonight. But y'all, when when I went to pick up the the roll the little roll thing, it's a yeast roll, and it just about fell apart. And I was like, I have to eat it. I have to eat that. So I did. But anyway. So we're sitting there eating. Here's here's our second card, y'all. Isn't that doesn't that just look? I mean, come on, Hallmark, see if you can do better. Right, right. Um. So Ninja Man's sitting there eating lunch, and he's like, "I wonder what sweet it's in." So he looks it up, and lo and behold, he was supposed to be fasting. So he made all the phone calls, and he's like, "I didn't fast." And they say they said, "Well, you just have to come another time." So he's gonna go in November. But that happened, y'all, because usually I did have a cheat day, Teresa, and it was my first, my first one, September, October, really in two full months, because I started, sorry, there's something tickling my face. Um, I started it in mid-August when we were on, uh, or right when we got back from vacation, so yeah. Okay, so we have... We have this one, and I have no idea where I put the other one, but it's here somewhere. Okay, so if you love this card like I do, I'll use the Tasteful Touches, and thank you, Linda. Thank you, Nyoka. Um, use that, and I mean, I'm sitting here. Oh, silly me. Y'all, here it is. This is the easy one right here, and this is the stepped-up one. Now, the next bit of my video, I'm going to be showing y'all. And, and by the way, you can also stamp the back of this. Um, 
Oh, Barbara, awesome. You know, hey, Barbara, I bet our paper uh, stash looks very similar to one another. Um, but you, you can stamp the flap with this little, this little thing here. I mean, if you wanted, okay? And then you can step it up with this one. Okay, so the rest of my video is going to be all about um, the sale tomorrow that starts at midnight mountain time tonight, okay? So I'm just going to show you as quickly as I can because I'm, I just pulled a bunch of the stamp sets that I have. And if, if you have... if if you have to go now, I understand, not a biggie, but I would love for y'all to stick around just about 10 minutes, okay? This is our stamp sale. It's 24 hours. A uh, demonstrator was kind enough to make this wonderful. Thank you, Kathleen. I'm so glad to see you here, too. Um, so one of our demonstrators in our group in, in Stampin' Up! made this great um, reference chart for us because what's online... It's like three or four pages. It's got the French stamps in there. I, I don't even know, but this is all these. Um, English, U.S. only, that kind of thing. If you want this copy, send me a private message, and I will send me a private message with your email address if I don't have it already, and I will send this to you. But you need it tonight, okay, or first thing in the morning, whenever you want to go shopping. Okay, the stamps are in here. They are all cling mount, which means they're the red rubber, okay, like this. Okay, so I will show you the ones that I have. I don't have all of them, of course, but here we go. Pampered Pets. I'm going to try and keep the glare off of it if I can. A Grand Kid. Now, let me tell you real quick about this particular set right here. Where's my scary dental tool? Bum, bum, bum. Okay, this particular set really only has, I think, three grandchild references. Best grandkid ever to an amazing grandson and extraordinary granddaughter, okay? Other than that, you don't, it doesn't have to be a grandchild thing. Um, no amount of money could ever show how much I love you, but here's some anyway. That's cute for anybody. Congratulations. I love the font. So smart, so fun, so sweet and wonderful, okay? You are so loved. We must be related. Happy birthday and so proud of you. I mean, these, y'all, those are just sentiments. There's only three on here that are specific to grandchildren. Okay, another set that I love, y'all, is Campology. I was so afraid that this would not be in the catalog. I wouldn't get to get it because I believe it was in our mini catalog um, last spring. Um, I'm quite sure it was. So much you can do with this. I made a beautiful card with this uh, tent and these trees, and I, I wish I had it here in front of me. This is an all-time go-to for me. I use this all the time, particularly for guy cards. It is just beautiful. Set sail in the direction of your dreams. Thanks. You are my true north. Let hope be your anchor through the storms of life, and congrats. Now, you can stamp this. And you can heat emboss in silver. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. Handsomely suited. This goes with um, this goes with a suite that cuts out suits and ties and all kinds of things. Now, a lot of people have done the Harry Potter thing with these. Um, using all the Harry Potter colors. Really neat. Um, my son-in-law's birthday, I made him a card with this set. And I made little buttons, um, little black cardstock buttons that went with it. Okay, many happenings and many messages. These, these are buddies, okay? They are on the sale, 15% off tomorrow only. And they each fit into the same die, um, die, die cut. I mean, it's one, it's one big die. And all of these, you see how small these are? This size, this size, and this long ones here. There's one die cut that you would stamp these and lay that die cut over, and then you get all these pieces out, okay? Very cool, very cool. Of course, the one we use tonight, Tasteful Touches. You guys, I love, love, love that. I wish I had time 
to just make a ton of cards to show y'all, but I don't. And I didn't even have time to pull them all that I have made. Um, y'all, I love this one. And, and now that I know Linda Waters, um, she's on here tonight. She is a baker. And I know that, you know, the, the stuff that you'd put on a pizza, that kind of thing, isn't so much baking, but this is, and this is, and this, and the bowl. Um, what's cooking? Sending you a dash of kindness and a spoonful of love. For you, happiness is homemade. And a little stack of pots and pans, the salt and pepper, and the little chef hats, which go on, what, on the legs of a duck or something? I'm not sure. Um, and we've got dies to go with this. But the dies, y'all, none of the dies are on sale, just the stamps. Um, artistically inked. This is a distinctive art, a distinctive stamp set, which means it's got dark and light in it. And y'all, it is gorgeous, gorgeous. You feel like an artist. I'm not even kidding. Not even kidding. Okay, that one. Back on your feet, y'all. I have used this so many times. Look at that little turtle. He's so sweet. And this is not good. <laughs> this is not good. And this guy, I usually try to put him upside down, but that's not right, is it? No, he needs to be that way. He's the one that's upside down. Sorry. Um, sigh, ouch. Sometimes that's all there is to say and that I'm here for you. Hope you're back on your feet again soon. Hope things get better soon. Okay. Free as a bird. Y'all, this is beautiful. You can use um, any of the alcohol markers or your stamp and write markers, or your um, um, color pencils, in, in any of these that I've shown you, but this in particular because there's so many ways to color these, and I just love I, I love a bird. I just love a bird, y'all. Um, enjoy the moment. This is a neat earthy kind of thing. You would use yellows, dark, um, dark like. Uh, maybe dark gray and burgundy, browns, things like that. Um, I do like the sentiments, the way they're written. Happy birthday. Friendship is found in simple, simple things. Enjoy the moment. Good things are worth waiting for. And a little note. Okay, Timeless Tropical. I love this one so much. We had designer series paper that went with this when it first came out. And again... There are dies, okay? Look at the pineapple. And this these are the little fronds from the top of the pineapple. But like I said, the dies are not on sale, but you're gonna save money, you know, by getting this. And if you want, if you want to buy dies or whatever, you can. But these are 15% off. Celebrate sunflowers. Again, we have dies for this. I don't know if they're in here. Yes, they are. No. Yep, they are. They are dies for this. Okay. And I like to play around and experiment a bit with these sunflowers. If you go on Pinterest and key in Stampin' Up! Celebrate Sunflowers, you're going to see all the different genius things people have done. Um, and by the way, tonight's cards... Straight out of my bony head. Y'all, I did not case these. These are straight out of my head. <laughs> I mean, sometimes something get you know, every squirrel finds a nut. Right? Right. Um, hey, birthday chick. Y'all, this is the cutest thing. And um, little dancing chicks. Now, Nyoka, we're not going to look at this one tonight. We're just going to look at these. <laughs> we can't have a naked chicken for Nyoka. Okay, the background stamp, this birch, y'all, look how pretty this is. Can, mm, mm. This is just beautiful. And again, with the smoky slate, y'all, put this stamp, the background stamp, on white cardstock, and you've, you've got a birch right there, right? Forever Blossoms, here we go again with some, uh, you know what, I don't even know if we still have the dies. I'm not going to show you those. We may not have these dies. Um, there's your naked chicken. I know. <laughs> Nyoka's like, oh no. <laughs> Cherish every moment of this day. Isn't that beautiful? Just look at that. 
Um, friend, you mean so much to me. Wishing you a long life together filled with love and promise. That right there is a good wedding thing. Always and forever. Again, wedding. Love. All of me loves all of you. Isn't that sweet, y'all? And again, with the coloring, y'all. Can anybody tell me why did we quit coloring? I mean, really, the Crayola box with the little sharpener on the back? Come on. What day did I go... I'm just too grown to color anymore because, y'all, 40 years later, people start coloring, and I'm all over it. I love coloring. Um, Kathleen, oh, you have not stamped yet, my friend. Kathleen, let me tell you, all you got to do is send me a message, tell me what you want to learn, and I will take care of you. I'll do you a quick video. We can FaceTime, whatever, and there you go, okay? Um, because, I mean, I just do that for my, for my viewers because it, I love to do this and I love to share it. Um, Nyoka, oh, Heather never quit coloring, y'all. I love it. Nyoka, this is my 100% favorite. Um, Barbara, you talking about this, this one here? Yeah, I know. All of me loves all of you. I mean, we don't have that in another set. Yes. Um, Oh, you're welcome, Kathleen. You're welcome. And I'm serious. Let me know, and I'll be happy to uh, FaceTime or do your video or whatever. Forever Fern, this is my favorite set ever. And y'all have seen some of the things I've done with this. And I'm so sorry. I wish I had looked to see if all of these dies were available. I don't know, but some of y'all might know. Um, but if you do know, just say Forever Fern dies are available. But y'all, here's an example. This is, I like distressed, kind of old looking things sometimes. And that's just some tags I made once. Um, but y'all, there's one thing that I did with these that I absolutely love. And I took a an eight and a half by 11 um, basic white cardstock and started in the very center. I found the center. Oh, Heather, it you've got to order it at 15% off too. You need this. Right in the center of that um, eight and a half by 11. Hang on, I'll show you. I can't show you the finished product because I don't have it here in front of me. But I found my center. Um, the front of the Forever Fern set does not show how beautiful it stamped. Nyoka, 100 billion percent. You are correct. Um, it is, it is the most beautiful. And, okay. I get excited because this is my go-to. All right. So I found the center and I used these in different, I've used a purple, I used a green and I'm talking soft. Okay. Like if it was a dark purple, I would stamp off like I did tonight and then stamp on, um, purple and green and a soft red, um, I don't even know what, oh, some yellow, all of that. And, and I just stamped all like this. And then I cut it this way and I cut it this way. Oh, and I use these y'all. Everybody needs a freckles. Okay. This is a little freckles stamp, just a bunch of dots. And I stamped those all around in a brown. Absolutely gorgeous. Carol has made beautiful backgrounds papers with this stamp. I love to hear that. Um, Yes, the Forever Fern Designer Series paper, which was um, the matching paper to this, was absolutely beautiful. I wish, I, would, I do wish they would carry over our paper. I do, sometimes. Um, oh, Nyoka, love that technique. It made beautiful cards for you. I'm so glad to hear that. Okay, y'all, beautiful moments. Freckles! <laughs> I know, my sweet little grandchild, Wren the one that's had all the chemo and everything, she's doing great. She has all these little freckles around her, just above her cheekbones. So stinking adorable. Gloria, Forever Fern is one of your favorite. Yes, ma'am, you need it. Tomorrow's the day, 15% off. Beautiful moments. Thinking of you. Isn't that pretty? Collect beautiful moments. Look at this little, it, that can be a beach. It can be a little mountain range. It can be water. Okay, however you want it to be. And don't forget, you can mask it off, which means you're going to stamp that onto like a large post-it note, cut it out, 
you're going to stamp it onto your cardstock and then cover it and stamp it again and cover that one and stamp it again and again and you'll have water just waves of water um i mean this is a beach set and that is a sand dune i believe but hey we can get creative got our little birds here got little butterflies there we've got uh the woman with the holding the child's hand you're somebody's blessing and then her this uh, it's just so beautiful and then the sea oats here and around her and this is a million dollar set and i'm trying to see who who designed it it should say it uh j-a-c-q-u-e i would pronounce that jackie williams okay um anyway when you do a million dollars of sales you get to design your own set so um i'm not looking to do that anytime soon but it'd be great spiral die this one we only got one more y'all this one is also on the list and i did some really cute stuff with this where you you can use all the different um you know two or three different colors not two three different colors and you ink it up you put a little yellow there a little pink there a little blue there and you stamp it and then you turn your stamp around okay now you're going to want to use your stamp positioning tool such as your stamparatus you're going to turn it around and you're going to do it again you're going to do it in a light purple maybe a soft pink and a little, little different yellow and or green and then you stamp it again and that is going to be the best use of your spiral die oh nyoka how i hope i hope i would love to thank you okay this is handmade for you oh angela yes let's dream when what will you create when it's your time oh goodness you know i never thought of it i'm gonna be thinking of it because you know it's fun to think about right okay handmade for you y'all stitched with love how many of y'all sew i do and we're about to put my sewing area back together again since it's been a catch-all hashtag made it i need to put that on my kids right <laughs> crafter's gonna craft craft queen copyright stamping up this little doodly do it looks like a little dutch to look doesn't it and then the uh, this is really neat isn't it and let me tell you something cool about stuff like this um, no naked animals. No. <laughs> uh, uh, Teresa, yes. Oh, okay. Nyoka, I'll do um, I'll do raccoons. How about that? <laughs> They've got a good thick coat. But y'all, you can stamp this kind of stamp. You you stamp it onto your cardstock, okay, and then you stamp it onto some designer series paper which means paper that has print all over it, okay? And when you stamp it onto your designer series paper, let me get a little piece here. Oh, y'all, it's going to be retired if I grab just anything. Okay. This is not pretty paper here. Well, I mean, it can be. But anyway, you could stamp this same stamp over this and cut out the form figure. Okay, and then you just glue that on it, y'all. And it's a striped fall looking mannequin, or what? Is that called a mannequin? I think so. You know what I mean? And I mean, yeah. Okay. Then we have hashtag handmade, handmade for you, and then the scissors with the little flowers. So, y'all, all of these are 15% off. And, y'all, this is about half. This is about half of what they are offering starting at midnight tonight. Now, guess who just put an order in? Yep, me. Dress form. Yes, Nyoka. Dress form. That's it. Thank you. I'm just going to line them up like this so y'all can see because I don't even know how many I've got here. Um, okay, let's see. And yeah, I put numbers on mine. One day, if y'all want to know, I'll tell you how I how I organize my stamps. My friend Karen showed me mannequin or dressmaker's form. Thank you, thank you. Um, my friend Karen showed me the best way to, uh, to keep your stamps in order, and that's why some of them have a number on them. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So there's 21 here. And I'm just going to look at the um, list real quick. And then we'll be done. I'll tell y'all how many's on sale. So we have, see all these? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 20 right there. And here's 21. So I'd say probably 60. Let's see. I mean, 20, 40, easily. I'd say probably 60, y'all. And you can order them through my website right here, kathybow.stampinup.net. If you want to order something that you love and you're not quite sure how you would use it, send me a note. Let me know. Go to Pinterest. Let's do this because that's where I would send you. Let's say that you love this one. You're going to go to Pinterest and you're going to key in Stampin' with no G, just Stampin', Stampin' Up What's Cooking. Okay, just in a, as an example. And you're going to see a bunch of cards. Now, don't be afraid to copy a card because when we put it out there on Pinterest or wherever, we expect people to case our cards. It's an acronym for Copy and Share Everything. Tweak it just a little, little bit. Make it your own. Um, but, I mean, we expect people to copy it. So don't, don't be shy about that. Just be like, oh, I love what they did with the bowl and the spoon and all that, and, and do it, you know. Um, but if there's any way I can help y'all, let me know. Um, definitely appreciate y'all so much. I appreciate your business. And I am going to go, and on Thursday, I'll be live. Y'all do not want to miss Thursday. Thursday, Dollar Tree Crafts, okay? Um, One o'clock. Eastern time on Thursday. Even if you don't like to regular craft, you want to see this because it's stinking adorable. All right. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for being here. And don't forget, that is my website right there. You can shop there. Just click shop and um, and, and you'll be in business. Oh, Nyoka. Okay. That's fine, my friend. You just let me know if you need any help. Oh, and by the way, y'all, my October host code, if your order is less than $150, please use this host code here, right? <laughs> right here. I can't do it. There it is. There it is. Use that host code. Do a screenshot. Okay. Oh, and I'm going to hold these up. Thank you, Carol. Good night. And Marilyn, God bless you. And here's our cards. If y'all want to do a screenshot, let me see how to put it on there. Nope. This way. Okay. There we go. If you want to do a screenshot, cha. Okay. Thank y'all so much. God bless and toodles.